If you guys have been watching the Nomad community for a while, you would probably know about Becky. So Becky just gave me her sticker. That's so cute. It's got her van all drawn out and then her channel at the bottom. Van life with Bernie, Becky, and Hank. Becky from her channel, Bernie, Becky, and Hank, has been hanging out and going to events in our group for almost two years, over two years now. How did you get into this lifestyle? What made you decide to move into a van? Well, I um, was figuring out my retirement and um, I could either keep a house and not work, but not go anywhere, or I could get rid of the house and move in a van and go see everything. Pretty much when she first got on the road, um, she was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer. Being on the road was what her plan was to do. That's what her retirement was. So unfortunately, she also was introduced to cancer around the same time. Becky, what are you doing? Get paper plates so we can go eat pizza at Randy's. Okay, okay. And it's just been a, her since I've known her. It's just been that she's had cancer and it wasn't a big deal. She was beautiful and spunky and fun and it didn't, it wasn't a thing. You're definitely glowing, definitely a glowing unicorn. You look great, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and warm. It looks warm. Snuggly. It really needs pockets though. <laughs> Becky is one of the strongest people I know. If you go look at her channel, which I hope you do, you'll see that up until a few days before she passed, she was still her same old self. Well, I have Bernie, my 1984 Volkswagen Westphalia. <laughs> is that a sloth? Yes, um, one of my daughter's friends sent that to me and I'm like, what am I going to do with my sloth? I'm like, oh, I'll hang them up there. When I open the window, you can see them from outside and they're like, people say, is that a sloth? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Those are the states I've been to with the van. Nice. Becky is an inspiration to all of us to celebrate life every day. Celebrate it. Whether you know you have a ticking clock or not, she was sure she was going to beat cancer. We all were. Life is precious. And her passing makes me realize that you can, no matter what, still have your dreams and live them. And that's why she wrote that on the front of her van. She wrote, live the dream, and she was. Every chance she got, every time between treatments, she was out on the road. She was living her best life that she possibly could, given her circumstances, and she was fighting for it every day. That's my band. And then I fell in love with the Volkswagen with value when I saw it. I'm like, can I have one of those one day? That one. <laughs> Yay! So it's a dream come true. A dream come true, yeah, to travel in the Westphalia. And the dream is to never see winter again and travel down roads I've never been down before. So. Which is super easy in the United States. There's so many roads. Well, I spent 31 years driving a truck for UPS, being told what roads to go down, and driving past roads and going, oh, I wish I had a package for that road. I've never been down that road before. So this is nice. 